Well, hello, and welcome once again to What Nobody Told Me After 65. It is your lady on the go, lady in the know, Miss Info. You have reached the Information Nation, where knowledge is shared and wisdom exchanged for the betterment of a people. Well, hello. Let's get started. Today, I want to talk to you about tattoos. Is it a tattoo or a taboo? You decide. Listen, according to research done by the Pew Research Center, 32% of people in the U.S. have at least one tattoo. 32%. 69% say they got inked to honor or remember something or someone. So they're marking themselves to commemorate uh, some event in their life. Okay? Tattoos were used to be indicators of memberships in either a gang or a criminal organization. That was back in the day. I also remember that most sailors had a tattoo. Something to do with protection out on the open sea. Um, I didn't get too much information on that at this point, but I think I remember that when I was a kid. Whenever, um, because I lived in a port city and whenever the ships came in and those guys came into town a lot of times we knew they were sailors from those ships and they most always had a tattoo anyway they've been around for centuries as a means to protect from evil um, or to declare love signify status, or religious belief. Even as body adornments, just to look pretty. And also as punishment. Remember the uh, scarlet letter? <coughs> I think that lady was branded or tattooed uh, the six on her head or on her forehead or something as a punishment. At first, it would appear that only females had tattoos to indicate their profession as prostitutes. That's what archaeologists thought when they first started uh, digging up mummies, and the female mummies had tattoos. That's what they thought. Also, for females, it was discovered that the tats were used to protect them from sexually transmitted diseases. That's what they thought if they were um, prostitutes. And in ancient Egypt, mummies have been found to have tattoos across the abdomen, possibly used as an amulet during childbirth to protect you or to make your childbirth go easier. Among the Greeks and the Romans, tattoos were called stigmata. And I remember seeing that uh, word in Roman uh, history as it related to people who were bleeding from their hands uh, the way Christ was when he was impaled on the cross. Um, I'm going to get some more information about that. But anyway, the Greeks and the Romans, ancient Greeks and Romans, called tattoos stigmata. And uh, they had been used to mark someone as belonging uh, either to a religious group or to an owner, like a slave, like being branded, like cacao. After the emergence of Christianity, tattoos were thought to disfigure that which was made in God's image. 
and they were were banned uh, by the emperor Constantine around 306 and 373 CE, which is the Common Era. That's a long time ago. The Native Americans, or the Indians, uh, mummified bodies were found. Let's go over that again, because that didn't make too much sense. Native American Indians, mummified bodies were found with extensive, extensive facial and body tattooing. Six Greenland Inuit Indian women revealed evidence for facial tattooing along their cheeks and over their eyebrows. The Maori culture of New Zealand viewed the head as the most important part of the body, and they embellished their faces with incredibly elaborate tattoos, or moko, M-O-K-O, which were regarded as marks of high status. Remember Mike Tyson with his huge facial tattoo? That was Maori. He associated it with being a warrior and called it his warrior tattoo. Today, tattoos are very common with blacks leading the pack at 39% for more than one tattoo. Women are next at 38%, again, for more than one tattoo. However, when we get to age groups, the 30 to 49 age group came in at a staggering 46%. 46% of the people in this age group had at least one, but maybe more than one tattoo. Ages 18 to 29 were next at 41%, Hispanics at 35%, and whites at 32%. Now, I got this from Pew Research. I don't know about that. I would like to think that blacks and whites should be running right about neck and neck, but that's my opinion. So my perception of the tattoo on a woman is rather biased. Um, My oldest child had a huge, beautiful uh, tattoo with her former husband's name across her very ample bosom. The older she got, the bigger them things got, the bigger his name got. Of course, now they're divorced, and she um, turned it into a very pretty uh, flower. But it's a great big flower. Mm -hmm. But it's very pretty. Uh, That cute little heart with the arrow through it is going to look like a menacing weapon stretched out over your big butt as you age. Because the average tattoo lasts about 10 to 20 years, and it should not show any signs of significant fading for a lifetime, hopefully. Your results will vary depending on your tattoo artist's experience, age, skin type, sun exposure, and the type of ink used are all contributing factors in the longevity of your tat. You can find products for care for your tattoo at inknurse.com. I'm giving them a plug because apparently... You need to be putting stuff on this uh, tattoo for the rest of your life to keep it moist, moisturized. It's skin. You have to keep it, take care of it. So that's a free plug, Ink Nurse. I'm sure there's other um, products available, um, but I'm only giving one free plug out. <laughs> So, here's some fun facts. What do these tattoos mean? The symbols, what do they mean? Well, out of that prison and gang um, book 
This is what I got. 3% is a paramilitary group that resists intervention by the federal government in local affairs. 3%. 1%. It used to belong to the Hells Angels motorcycle membership insignia. It was a death head superimposed over a 1% tat. 88 is the eighth letter of the alphabet H, and it's double H, 88, stood for Heil Hitler. 311 is the 11th letter of the alphabet is a K. Three Ks are K, K, K. 100% pure Aryan or white roots. If you see 100%, that's pretty much what that means. 419 is the anniversary date of two events, Waco, Texas with the Branch Davidians and the Oklahoma City bombing, 419. So, what about pictures? Pictures of angels are seen as messengers. An arrow can be seen as protection or survival. A bird, freedom. A cat, good luck. A compass, direction or guidance. A dagger, treachery or bravery, depending on who's wearing the tat and what their intention was. Overall, certain symbols can carry significant weight as badges and symbolism, even cultural influences. It's still up to the wearer. What did it mean? What did it signify? How much it meant? All of that is an individual uh, right. It's the individual's choice. I'm, I'm still, I don't have any tattoos. Um, I'm not going to say never. I don't know that I have a statement to make yet. But we'll see. <laughs> Listen, we are about to be ready for Mother's Day. I want to wish those of you, because I will not be recording on Mother's Day. I don't record on Sundays anyway, but I want to wish you... Those of you who are mothers or soon-to-be mothers, grandmothers, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. This is a joyous time. Let us celebrate. And remember, you don't know what you don't know. Thanks for listening.